All right, guys, we're on a 2021 Chevrolet Equinox with a little turbocharged four-cylinder engine. And I just want to show what the D8W, the uh, same thing would apply to the D8BT. Just show you that if, if it's got an option in, say, actuation test, that it will actually control uh, those things. A lot of people question the ability of the X tool and just because it's got a button that says one thing and you push it, uh, a lot of people wonder if it will actually do the job. There's only been one time that the X tool did not operate the function. That was on a 2012 Nissan Armada for the uh, air suspension compressor. For whatever reason, when I hit on, it would not engage the compressor. And I'm sure by now they have probably fixed that problem. Uh, but we're going to get in here into the uh, ECM. I believe this is the LYX engine 1.5. You would have to look at your RPO code to be able to figure out exactly which engine you've got. This is not a China car. I believe this is the MNH six-speed transmission so we'll click that it is all-wheel drive and basically we're just going to hit some random stuff just to see you know uh, what it'll do this car does have the auto start auto start auto stop feature so if it's got a uh, actuation test for that we'll uh, we'll hit that and we'll see what that does uh, it is turbocharged so if it's got a turbocharged actuation test we'll uh, We'll check it out too. Okay, so first let's see if we can uh, control the compressor. Hopefully you'll be able to hear it. Hopefully you heard that. It's activated. Now it's off. On. I can hear it clicking out there. That's off. So that worked cooling fan increase okay we're at 22 percent okay I can hear it slowly turning faster I'll go ahead and take it as high as we can hopefully you can hear it let me roll this other window down Surely you can hear that. That's as fast as it'll let me take it, 84%. Exit out of that. Uh, let's see. Starter relay. You want to hit on? Hopefully you heard the starter. We'll see if it'll let me do it again. We'll, do it. we'll try it one more time. Now I've got to wait. Turbocharger. Now we're probably going to have to go out under the hood for this one. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. there's the turbocharger right there and what I'm going to do we'll just do the uh, bypass solenoid valve first and sometimes the engine's got to be running for some of these tests sometimes they don't hit on okay hopefully you heard that do it one more time you can hear that nice solid click We'll go to the uh, wastegate. Right here's your wastegate actuator. There's a solenoid attached to it. Uh, so far, it looks like everything's okay. We'll go to uh, increase. You can 
here, that's a duty cycle, operated solenoid. We're at 20%, 30, 40, 50. So that operates. Let's see, let's hit, get out of that, hit exit. What else did, do we have here just to show that this thing will actually... Oh, the auto, auto start, auto stop. Okay, the auto start, auto stop. Got my foot on the brake. Engine is running. I'm going to hit stop. The engine stopped. Let me show you the cluster. And you can see that the uh, little needle is actually on auto stop. I'm going to hit start. The engine started back up. So, the little X tool, it's an impressive scan tool, for especially for the price that you pay. It's very hard to beat. What all you get for the price that you pay for the scan tool. Anyway, this is just a quick demo of showing some of the, uh, you know, just random features that, uh, this skin tool is capable of. Anyway, you guys take care. We'll see you.